This week on Bite Sized, Diet Coke and Mentos. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Alex, this is so 2006, but I've never done it and it looked like fun and sometimes science is just fun. Diet Coke and Mentos it is. Okay, so unless you've been living under a rock with no internet connection for the past six years, you know what's gonna happen when I combine these two things. But do you know why it's gonna happen? Soda is bubbly because it has CO2 pumped into it at high pressures when it's bottled. When sealed, that CO2 remains suspended in the liquid. However, when you open the cap and relieve some of the pressure, the CO2 can start to form bubbles. Water molecules, like the ones in the soda, are very strongly attracted to each other. So in order for a bubble to form, you have to somehow lower the tension between those molecules. This tension can be lowered physically with something pushing between the water molecules, a nucleation site, or it can be done chemically by adding something to the liquid. So why are Mentos so good at doing this? So even though they look pretty smooth to us, Mentos actually have lots of rough dimples in their surface which form great nucleation sites for bubbles. Mentos are also good because they don't float, so not only do they create bubbles as they hit the top of the liquid, but they create bubbles as they travel all the way down the bottle. The surface of the Mento also contains gum arabic and gelatins, which will help to lower the surface tension chemically. The aspartame in the Diet Coke will also help lower the surface tension too, which is why Diet Coke works better than regular Coke. Okay, let's do a mini demonstration before we head outside. We haven't even added the Mentos yet, and CO2 bubbles have already started to form using impurities in the glass as nucleation sites. So take one was a little anticlimactic. As you can tell from how far away I put the camera, I was expecting a slightly larger reaction. Take two was similar, so I tried moving the camera a little bit closer. Sure, it's not the giant 20 foot geyser you might get out of a larger bottle of soda and more Mentos, but it's still a pretty cool looking reaction and it's actually well contained enough that you can do it in your own kitchen. Go forth, do science. Hmm. It tastes kind of like being at the dentist. <laughs>